Hello Aquarius, welcome to a love reading for the next six months. We're gonna be looking at who or what is coming towards you in the next six months. As always, it's meant to be a general love reading, so take what resonates for you, what applies for your situation, and leave the rest. Check out your other signs as well for these readings, your sun, rising, and moon signs. I have a playlist for Aquarius, so you can check that out. It's linked in the description box. So let's jump right in for Aquarius, spirits, angels, guides. What's coming towards Aquarius in love in the next six months, spirit? What's coming towards them in love in the next six months for Aquarius? What's coming towards Aquarius in love in the next six months for Aquarius? Intelligent, logical, and analytical. Okay. What else for Aquarius? What's coming towards them in love in the next six months? What's coming towards Aquarius in love in the next six months? I got two. Passion and reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. This could also be a past life connection. Doesn't necessarily have to be someone from your past specifically. Okay. But I feel like with passion, there's like a very strong connection here. Maybe even an intimate connection. Like the int intimacy is great between you. Tell me more for Aquarius. Or what's coming towards them and love in the next six months. Or what's coming towards them. Aquarius. Okay, we have pure seduction, lust, temptation, desire. Yeah, it's almost like someone's really drawn to you um yeah desire and then i have desire here with the wishing well card um wish desire request your wish is being granted so it's almost like someone really wants you or wants to be with you let's clarify all of these spirits angels guides tell me more for aquarius oops for the next six months i could shuffle Or what's coming towards Aquarius in the next six months? Tell me about this intelligent energy. I'm going to clarify all of these energies and then get some more information with my clarifying deck. Tell me about this intelligent energy. Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, this is probably somebody that um, is really using their brain here to work on something. Put in effort here. Tell me more about this intelligent energy. Number three. Four of Swords. Okay, so I see someone planning, um, strategizing, thinking, reflecting. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles. This is someone that's really um, thinking about the long term here, or at least the they're willing to take their time if it ensures that they're going to be successful. Tell me about passion and reconciliation. Tell me about passion and reconciliation. Oh, Page of Cups. What else? This could be an apology for some of you. Wow, the moon, Pisces energy. I see you like in the dark here. I'm not sure why though. I'll have to clarify and see. 
Like I'm not getting fear, doubt, confusion from that moon card. What I'm getting is like darkness. Okay, tell me about pure seduction. My mic is funny. Tell me about pure seduction. Okay, what else can you tell me about pure seduction? Sagittarius energy with the temperance card. And then I have the devil at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn energy. So, I mean, there's someone that's like really wanting this. Um, now with temperance, I'm, I'm getting like, um, once again, this energy of someone taking their time. It's like they don't want to just jump to the to the intimacy, even though they would love to do that. It's like, they, let's talk first. Let's really get to know each other. You know, I'm getting that energy. So let's clarify and see. Now in this little mini deck, I do have upright and reverse cards here. So let's clarify. Spirit, help me clarify for Aquarius. Let me go up, please. Hold on. What am I doing? This. Okay. Okay. Let's start with this Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. How can you tell me about this Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Swords? The High Priestess. Hmm. Can I get one more, please? Judgment Reverse. Can I get one more, please? For the Eight of Pentacles. Ah! That's the Six of Pentacles. So what I'm getting here is someone's working in secret and, and once again, taking their time, this, this coming together with you is something that they are taking their time with. Like, I don't see them rushing. I see them diligently working because they're playing this smart. What is going on here, Aquarius? It's almost like this person knows that they're going to need to put in extra effort for you. Like they know they need to impress you or show you something here. Tell me about the Page of Cups with the moon. Why is the Page of Cups here with the moon? Queen of Swords Reverse, the Fool. Can I get one more for this page of cups and the moon? The six of wands. The star at the bottom of the deck. Well, there you are, Aquarius. Healing hope, faith, renewal, a wish, a desire. So this Queen of Swords is reversed, which what I'm getting is you don't have all of the information and I think you can sense it. But why? Why don't you? Tell me more about this moon. It's like this person doesn't want to tell you everything at once. Like they want to start smart, 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 small with this page of cups. Tell me about the moon. Death, Scorpio energy. I got one more for the moon. Well, 
Wow, Ten of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Cups. Yeah, this person, you know what I'm getting? I'm getting, it's almost like they don't want to scare you off by telling you what they want with you right away. It's almost like when this person meets you, they're thinking, I'm going to marry Aquarius. But they can't tell you this because it's like the first or second date or something like that. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> It's like, I don't know, it's it's almost like this person doesn't want to screw, the, doesn't want to scare, they don't want to scare you off. But they mean business, they want it all here. Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Now this death card, it's almost like they're, they might be a water sign, this person. Um, I'm also getting like this person, um, they're changing for you or willing to do whatever it takes. Like if you don't like something, for let's say like you don't like the way they dress, they're gonna be like, oh, that, tell me where to go. <laughs> something small like that. If this is someone from the past, they've completely changed. Like I would, I would say this is someone from a long time ago, because they're showing up as someone completely different. If that's the case. And I'm also getting like um. Like some of you, this person's going to approach you as a friend first, but deep down they're thinking much more. So I'm almost getting like they're being secretive about this in a way, about their true intentions, but I'm not picking up super negative energy because even with the Queen of Swords reverse, I have the Fool and the Six of Wands. I have the Page of Cups. Page of Cups is not a player, not by any means. They're very genuine and sincere. Okay, tell me about this Eight of Wands with the Temperance card. Tell me about this Eight of Wands with the Temperance card. Four of Pentacles. Hmm, Queen of Pentacles reverse. Tell me more about this Eight of Wands with the Temperance card. For Aquarius. Ten of Wands. Okay, I'm thinking this is your energy here, Aquarius. You want to take it slow. You have a lot going on. Maybe you have a lot of responsibilities. Or maybe you have baggage from the past. I see you not wanting to commit at first. I think this person can sense it. That's why they're not, they're, they don't want to scare you off. They're going to be very logical, analytical, intelligent about this, very strategic here. Um, and it's interesting. It's like they're willing to wait for you. They're willing to go your pace and do things your way, basically. I see you kind of holding back here a little bit. Maybe you you can't jump into something right now for whatever reason. But I see this person like playing the long game here. Like that's not gonna that's not gonna scare them off or that's not gonna deter them. Yeah, I, I see you slowly opening up to this opportunity. It's like maybe you're not interested at first. Maybe you're like, eh, I don't, I don't see this other person. Like, I don't see myself with this other person. Um, but I feel like in, in time, it's almost like this person's waiting for you to give them a chance or waiting for you to see that they're serious or that they are genuine here. Um, I think maybe this starts off as something physical and develops. But in your mind, I don't think it was meant to be more than that. And this person, they're not in that same page. Um, I also feel like this person may have had, you know, I'm getting the message that for a small number of you, this person had too much going on at one time. And so they weren't able to commit then. And they can now. 
Like they're open to this opportunity now because things have, have balanced out for them in some way. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. If this resonated for you, then leave me a comment down below. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, hit the like button. Subscribe if you enjoy my readings and want to see more. Uh, thank you so much to everyone that's so kind and supportive. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope that this reading um, was insightful or brought some clarity or that, you know, it was at least, how do I say it? Um applies in some way to you, to what you're thinking, to where you are right now, Aquarius. And I will see you on another video very soon. Take care.